Hello there, and welcome to this Blackboard Collaborate guide. So Blackboard Collaborate is an amazing piece of software that the library team and also some of the university teams, we use it for online workshops, online one-to-one -one appointments, and online drop-ins. So the first piece of advice that I can give you is that you need to be using Google Chrome for it to work. So to even get into the room, you need to be in Google Chrome. Once you're in it, uh, add in a name and then it will invite you to set up your camera and microphone. Depending on the room and depending on the session you're in, you may be able to use a microphone and camera and some of you won't. So to turn your microphone on, there is a panel down here with share audio. There is a share video column. So in some one-to-one -one appointments, I allow people to share video with me. Um, there is also a raise hand tool. So in workshops, you can raise your hand and it will come up with a message just at the top right up here to the presenter saying, hi, I've got a question to ask. Um, the key thing to know about with Blackboard Collaborate is this tool at the bottom right. So at the bottom right hand side of the page, there is a tool called Open Collaborate Panel. If you click on that, it opens up a number of options. So you, first of all, you've got a chat where you can send messages to anyone and say things like hi or uh, ask questions during a class. Um, this is really good if you have audio issues. So if you, if you have audio issues, remember, click that purple button and get into the chat. So from there, you can see who's in, who the attendees are. And if you click on the attendee controls, you can message them privately. Um, I can't do that because that's myself, but you can send them private messages and you can chat to them. Um, so you also have this share content button. Um, so in some sessions, you'll be allowed to share applications or screen and you can also share files. So they are really important in one-to-one -one appointments, but not so much important in workshops. Uh, if you are having mic or audio issues, you can always go to my settings and set up camera and microphone. That will enable you to reset it up and it'll come up with some options. So for me, it will come up with the microphone options and it will also give you a test. So if you are getting good good sound, that means that it can hear you. Uh, if you click no, I need help, it takes you to a help page. And from there, if you click video test, it will come up with video options. So if you click um, video test, you can then test some video options. And again, you can go from there. So that is a whistle stop tour of Blackboard Collaborate uh, with the main information that you need to know. If you want to leave a session, uh, you can click up here on open session menu and then click leave. Thank you for watching. I really hope that you find Blackboard Collaborate really useful in helping you support your study.